waves come in many shapes and sizes. The size and the shape of the wave determines what category the wave falls under. The categories we refer to are plunging waves, and spilling waves. It's a combination of weather conditions, swell size and the slope of the seabed that determines the type of waves you'll be riding. Okay, so let's look at what a plunging wave is and the type of surfer it is suited for. Plunging waves are waves that break mainly over shallow areas such as reef, rock shelves and in some cases sand banks. The wave stands up, it gets top heavy and causes the lip to pitch out forming a tube or a barrel. These waves are only ideal for very experienced and talented surfers. Spilling waves are waves that occur when there is a gradual slope in the sea floor. The waves break slowly with a little power. These waves are perfect for beginner to intermediate surfers. It is also very important for surfing success to understand what type of equipment to use based on the type of waves you are surfing in. If surfers want to take the frustration out of their surfing, you'll need to surf smarter. We will go into more detail in our both equipment introduction to stand up and catching waves section. Okay, so now you know the difference between a plunging wave and a spilling wave, let's move on to the next tutorial.